Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, reduce your system temps. Now, keep an eye up here, okay? This is my CPU. Okay, first off, I should tell you exactly what I have set for um, my system. I should have done this beforehand, but... This is my system. I'm, I'm running Windows 10 Pro, 64-bit. Um, this is my processor, AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, 8-core processor, 16 CPUs, 3.6 gigahertz. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to set my power settings. So all you have to do is go down here, look for power, edit power plan. Now, I'm going to go to my power options here. I'm going to go to... Uh, okay, the one I'm using is Power Savers. What I'm going to do is, for most people, set the balance. I just want to take a quick look at this power uh, power settings here. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to be using a game called something that's a little heavy on the system. So what we're going to do is we're going to go... Now, I found Cube World to be the most heavy of them all. All right. Run with mods. Da -da, do it that. Just give me a second here while the game loads. Look at my system temps. Look at my CPU temps. Isn't that wild? 7879. My AMD radio is okay. But look at my CPU temps. Okay. Now, in order to, in order to you know, exit out of the game, my system's just humming right now. My fan is just going up. So we're gonna let that cool down for a second. I'm gonna show you how to. You can play most of your games, even your high-end games, G7 that I'm running anyway, for my CPU. Or my PC, I mean. So, okay, my, my system temps are going down. We're going to go back, and while we're waiting here, we're going to go. Like, a, if you don't see edit power plan here, just go power. And look for edit power plans. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on balance. But what I'm going, to I'm going to show you the settings in order of what you need to set here in order to change which is very simple to do go to processor power management okay you'll see minimum that's default five percent system cooling policy is active and maximum processor state what you're wanting to do is bring that down to say 90 percent okay let's try this again all righty where for art thou? Cube World play. Yeah, Cube World's really hard on CPU. It'll really cook your system. We're gonna go. It's really weird this game. Look at my CPU. Fifty five point three degrees. And the settings I have here are set to <clears throat> um, render distance one hundred percent. My render <clears throat> my render distance is one hundred percent. But as you can see, my CPU temps are really good at that. Uh, are keeping it under wraps for me. Now, if you really want to go a step further, and you can, what I've done was go into my power saver. And that's the one I chose to go with because there's already presets already done. Now, what I've done was a hard disk, uh, shut down hard disk, I put as zero. Internet Java, maximum power savings. Desktop, background, slideshow, pause. 
wireless adapter, power saving mode, maximum performance, because you want to keep uh, that always active. Sleep, I usually uh, disable sleep and all that. USB settings, uh, suspend settings, I all, it's always set to disable. PCI, maximum power savings for link power state. Processor, minimum, like I said, 5%. System cooling, passive, and setting at 90%. And display, I uh, my display won't turn off or any of that. And multimedia, uh, it's I just left it default. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, Michael, you don't need to do that. The world. Now I've noticed that you know when I was looking for a way to to help my CPU uh, mm -hmm. work with this game and other games that I have. Um, okay, let's just go to full screen again. Let's, you know, they were saying how you should go in and, and lower your, uh, your um, oh, what was it they were talking about? Your power and all this other stuff and, and all of that. Okay, look at my power, uh, look at my CPU pack, or my, my CPU caps. Incredible, incredible. And like I said, I, I'm running at 100% distance, you know. And people will say, well, it, you know, isn't your system slower because of it? It's slightly slower, but not much. It's all about protecting my, it's all about protecting my CPU temps. And look at my, 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 my CPU temps. Top right, 54.5. Right. So let's go to uh, another game. How, how about your uh, your your higher end games? Okay. Let's take a look. See. Uh, okay. I just want to make sure my mouse is that. Um, so what about my other high end games? Um, I know folks are going to be asking me about this particular game. Can I run it doing that? Red Dead Redemption Two. Let's run it. Check updates. No. That's just for the script book for uh, for mods that I'm running. So I'm not going to pause the video here. I'm just going to let it continue on playing. Or recording, I mean. So you don't think that I'm editing it or, you know, pushing it out there to make it look like I'm able to do something or not. Okay, I just muted my mic so I could cough. I didn't do anything, okay? If you saw a little X come out at the bottom there, okay? But keep an eye on the top right where my system temps are. My system temps are still quite, quite, uh, quite low, actually. And this is running the game, guys. My AMD Radeon is 56 degrees right now. When it gets a little warm, it'll, the, the fan will kick in, as always. Look at my system temps. Incredible, aren't they? Now, if I was running this game, okay, at 100% at CPU, like the default uh, uh, settings, this thing would be in the 70s or close to oh, well over 80. But just watch my system time, top right. My fan is not going crazy. Oh I'm running a bunch of mods as well. So... Come on, girl, please! Just keep an eye on my top, my, my top right, when my system time is going. Go look, look at my system test.
Look at my top fit, my, my system temp, 48 degrees. <laughs> I love this game. One of the best games I've ever played. Yeah, it's even better with the mod. I mean, it's a fantastic game just on itself. But this is an incredible... Anyway, there you go, guys. See, I'd, I'd be even forgetting that I'm recording here. So my system temps, I mean, they're, they're fantastic. Like, you know, and like I said, this thing would be pushing me into the 80 degrees right now because my ambient temperature is about, uh, it's about 79 degrees Fahrenheit. It's really kind of warm in here. And even though it's warm in my house, I'm able to maintain a really decent system temp. And that's all you need to do, folks. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do this just yet. But if I want to switch between my power, it says power 80, but I'm actually running at, at uh, 90, 90. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 90 there just to keep it right. But if I want, if I want to uh, go back to my power savings mode, which I can play any game I want and keep my system temps low, I'll double tap that if I want to go 100%. I, I double click on that and it and it loads a power plan that I already have a preset for for 100% but I usually go with 90 and uh, it'll keep my system temps low even when it's warm in the house and I'm able to play any of the games that I have installed I have some heavy hitters out there and some really light games so I never have to worry about it right now unless my fan on my my uh my stock fan. This is stock gear here, by the way. All right, this is a stock fan. This is no special gear I purchased for my heating, but that's how you could do it. This is how easy it is. I didn't realize that. I mean, I was, you know, I was reading up on, you know, editing your your, uh, you know, getting these special utilities that you can mess around. Like, uh, what, what the hell were they calling it? They were calling it. Uh, what a name to um, how to lower CPU temps by using party utils. How to lower your CPU temps. Uh, okay. Clean up your computer, reapply thermal paste. Okay, that's all. Yeah, that's all normal stuff. Upgrade your CPU cooler. Add more fans. See, all of this stuff, and all I had to do was adjust my power plan. That's all I had to do was reduce my power plan in Windows 10. And you can do this in Windows 8, Vista, Windows 7. But yet, I've already proven to you that I can do it despite adjusting my power plan. That's it. And I've got stock gear, guys. <laughs> I don't understand it. I do not understand why all these people are promoting this retarded stuff. Sure, you know, always keep your PC clean and stuff like that. Sure, that's, that, that's a common sense thing. But I mean... Why go to these great lengths, expenditure, at, you know, an expenditure of money, when all you have to do is adjust your power plan? I've already proven it without a shadow of a doubt. I've shown you at the beginning when it was at a normal default settings, and my system temps went way high. So I decided to adjust it and pull my CPU power down to 90%. All right, and my power. 
became, you know, I, I mean, my power usage lowered dramatically. My CP temps lowered dramatically, never rose above anything. I mean, I've proven it right here, folks, you know. Anyway, take care. Have a good one.